In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to recover your lost or deleted photos, videos, and audio files. Your SD card number one may have been corrupted and you may have went back to the actual manufacturer of that SD card and tried to use their software and that didn't work. Or you may have just deleted some photos and they were in the trash for over 30 days and they just deleted. We're gonna be showing you how to get those photos and videos back right now. And to help us with that, we have our sponsor at Stellar Photo Recovery. Now, if you guys would like to try their software for free, I'll leave a link in the description down below. They also have three different plans right here, each progressing one offering more than the first. Of course, we have our standard plan, we have our professional plan, and we have our premium plan right here. So if you guys wanna go ahead and purchase their software or just go ahead and try it out, I'll leave a link in the description down below. But of course, we have my SD card inside of my phone right here, and I'm gonna be using my phone for kind of an example right here. But say we deleted this video, we deleted a few photos on here, Let's go ahead and delete a few of these. And this may even have been for a few years. You can recover photos from as far back as five years ago and sometimes even more. So say we did that, we deleted it, and we still had the photos in the trash. They were deleted because we left them in there for let's say more than 30 days, which most phones are set to that 30 day deletion thing. And you deleted them, you can't get them back this is how you get those photos and videos back. And of course, for this case, of course, we have our SD card inside of our phone. And if you just want to recover them straight from your phone, Stellar actually has a mobile software as well. And they actually offer a trooper plan if you guys just wanna do it straight from your phone. But we're gonna take our SD card that we have right here and we're gonna bring it to the computer. All right guys, so the next thing you're gonna do is of course, download the Stellar Photo Recovery Program. I'll leave that link in the description down below. You guys can download the free option to just try this out to see if it actually works and of course I am rocking the stellar photo recovery premium version right here but obviously there's a bunch of different partitions right here so you're gonna want to select the one that is the partition you're trying to recover from which is of course in this case our generic micro SD card right here so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and we're gonna go ahead and click scan. Next, what it's gonna do is the software is gonna list all the recoverable data for your preview. Some of the photos and videos might even pop up right here as a preview. If you don't want that, you can obviously just turn that off, but we're gonna keep it on and it's gonna show you your elapsed time, your time left, and of course the files that are found right here. So depending on how many files there are, it can take a little bit of time. In this case, I only have about 14 files, so it should be only about two minutes right here. I should also know note that if you guys have been using your computer for a while or your micro SD card on your phone for a while, photos and videos might not always be recovered just because you can overwrite them if you utilize something for long enough or you use it a lot. So I would definitely do this as soon as possible if you guys want a better chance at recovering all of your stuff. All right guys, so as you can see, it says scanning completed successfully. We found 14 files and five folders getting up to 103.92 megabytes of data. After that, we're going to click OK. And we're going to choose from either our video files or our photo files. So we're going to go to our photos first. So we're going to go ahead and pop in here, our JPEGs. And of course, we have all of our photos listed right here. Um, I think it's really nice that we actually have the modification date, the creation date, and the size. Um, and of course, the file name and the type right here. That's always nice to see. Um, but we're going to figure out which ones we are wanting to recover. As you guys can see, it gives you a little preview even, which is really, really cool just to show you which photos they are. So you're going to then select the ones that you wanna recover. So we're gonna go ahead and select a few of them. Then you're gonna click recover once you've selected the ones that you would like to recover. Then we're gonna go ahead and set a destination to where we want them to be saved to. So in this case, I'm just going to save it to our desktop right here. Select folder and then start saving. So it looks like we have recovered those. We're gonna to go to our desktop and this is a little folder that it has left right here. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up right here. As you guys can see, our photos are gonna be in here, JPEG, and all of these photos have been recovered. So great to see that we have these all in here. So very, very effective. Also, if I would like to put these back into the SD card right here. All we would have to do is of course, select all of these and then we're going to drag them back onto the SD card. So we're gonna to go to our SD card right here, DCIM in this case, and just drop them there. 
of course, is going to load through and just pop your SD card back into your phone and you will have the photos right there. It is also the same thing for a video. Um, I only took one video on this, as you guys can see. Um, it actually plays the video on here, which is super, super cool as well. Um, definitely nice to see. And this is in full HD as well. For this one, same thing, of course. Check mark right there. Click recover. Uh, select where you want to save it to. In this case, of course, desktop select folder and start saving. Also, if you would like to rename it and you have multiple files named the same, you can rename it. You can overwrite and you can also just skip, which I'm gonna do right here. And of course, our videos were saved to the same file and we can go ahead and recover it right there. Oop. All right guys, so we are back on the phone and if we go into the gallery application right here, we actually recovered all of the photos that I wanted back on this device. So the software worked very well. It's in the same quality it was when I deleted it. So super, super nice software right there. That was one of the smoother experiences I've had with video and photo recovery uh, software. So if you guys want to go ahead and download the software, I absolutely recommend it. And of course, another huge shout out to Stellar Photo Recovery for sponsoring today video but if you guys have any questions let me know in the comment section down below hopefully you guys have a beautiful day peace out tech gang